Hello folks, and this is Kinky. And uh, as I mentioned last video, I was uh, playing around with my Space Leo, which is the key component for the tall geese. Uh, this actually took me a couple of tries to figure out exactly what to do. You're supposed to click and drag each unit, and make sure they're not deployed on a battleship. Make really sure they're not deployed on a battleship, or it'll give you an error. But after that, just click and drag them in each slot, and uh, then there you go. You'll uh, make the suit. Anyway, uh, this is the suit from Gundam Wing, uh, the Tom Keys, which was piloted a lot by Zex Marquis, I think, if I remember right. Also, he's a uh, pompous character in uh, Super Deformed uh, Gundam Force. So, uh, take it as you will. Anyway, here's the stats. And there's his skills. Just pause the screen if you uh, want to read them. But let's go ahead and try the suit out. Anyway, I uh, kept getting PMs because I had, like I said, I had to ask, like, I had to try and ask, like, three different people before I finally figured out how to do it. So, yeah, the clicking and dragging thing is very important, or you'll get error messages and whatnot, and it's fairly annoying. I kind of wish they would have explained that you clicked and dragged rather than double clicked, but. And then let's go ahead and uh, try this suit out. Maybe we can find a PvP room to try it out on. Pierce not. So uh, let's go ahead and actually show off some PvEV and PvE missions. Check my quest list, see if there's any quests I can do. Make sure my unit's selected. And yeah, I'll explain the uh, bow that glowing select battleship option uh, in a future video because uh, I'm actually at the level where I can use them now, so I can explain it a little bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a solo uh, single mission here. Uh, this is the single person for uh, space. Single mission space, as you can see there. Uh, you use single mission ground and you use single mission space to set your battle support ability, which you can equip onto your units. And when you have a battleship, uh, they give you bonus effects, but otherwise they just give you radar until, like I said, to later levels. Uh, yeah, they don't punish your suit any or anything else. They just give you uh, uh, radar whenever you want it. It's just kind of useful. Basically, our first mission here is to destroy the boxes. And the Tall Geese has, uh, well, has two different fire mode cannons. Uh, it has single shot cannon, and it has a three shot cannon. Which I don't think makes full sense why it is that you can shoot like 10 or 11 shots out of the single, but yet if you fire three sh cannon shots at once, uh, it takes a while to reload. As you can see here, this suit is stock, uh, and this is the first time it's been played. So yeah, I'm going to be failed a little bit to get used to it, and I'll show you some of the combat abilities of it when you get it from the store. Anyway, the mission here is to destroy the boxes, which don't always appear well. I mean, you have a two-dimensional map and a, I mean, two-dimensional radar and a three-dimensional map, so you're going to have to do a little bit of hunting for them. Well, 
while you're getting attacked in the back by those guys. Luckily, both of his weapons have an AoE, so if they get swarmed up on you, you can clear them out quick. Which is kind of handy. And it reloads kind of quick, too, so it's not as horrible bad. There it is. Come on. There you go. Sector clear. Okay, now we have to defend a broken battleship for 80 seconds. Uh, nothing too complicated here. And if the enemy battleship escapes through that little tunnel there, that means you lose. So, uh, like I said, just, yeah, see that big battleship there? If they blow that other battleship up, that ship gets crossed and then you auto lose. So, just protect it. It's a pretty simple and easy objective. Especially when you have an AoE spammer. I think the worst I've ever gotten out of playing this is maybe uh, that object being half health or something. So I mean, it's very easy to do. And you only need easy mode for uh, the switch valve support, which is also kind of handy. But there are quests later on that make you do it from normal and normal ones are quite a step up with difficulty. And now we have to defend white base from a bunch of GMs. Yeah, I don't understand the logic either, but I guess I figured since Zaku's were already abused too much in uh, ground mission and in the earlier box mission that there'd be a different unit for you this time. Also you may notice I have a sl five weapon slot. Uh, that number five is just special items. Uh, if you have any that you earn on missions like SP down and teleport and dummy and all them. Uh, basically, you can put it in that fifth slot. You only get to use two per mission, though. S sometimes three, depending on what item it is. But uh, they're kind of they're kind of handy tools, and they only reduce in inventory after you've used them. So you can keep them on your suit however long you want to. And there's a the space mission. Now, uh, I edited out a lot of uh, just me looking for room footage, but I did eventually find a room. Uh, it's the uh, shooting down two big Zams. And here's this one. Basically, your mission here is, of course, to shoot. Uh, shoot down two big giant Zams and make sure that they don't kill the cylinder in the middle. Uh, this mission is a nightmare in expert mode. I can tell you that because I barely completed it in hard uh, yesterday. <laughs> but luckily this is I believe on normal mode. Uh, not sure. So it's not as pain in a Buddish. Maybe anyway, just keep shooting them down, and eventually a big Zam will show up. Uh, 
Also, why you can't play as Zeon, I have no idea. But like all the mi missions are Federation based at the moment. Uh, it would be nice to play as Zeon rather than as them. But whatever. And our big, our first big exam. No, it was on easy mode. It wasn't on normal mode. Okay. Yeah, this here is a big exam. It's a big walking turkey with. Uh, I mean, it's like a big uh, frying pan with legs or something. I don't know. It's really weird. But as you can see, it didn't live very long since so it's easy mode. Oh, I died finally. I mean, this mission is pretty simple. Just, just kill a Freet or a Jin and, or Big Zam here and you get uh, hit points back for your cylinder. And your main objective here is to kill the two Big Zams. Uh, the Zakus don't heal it any, which I think is a little silly. They shouldn't make them heal, but eh. And that's that. Uh, so, uh, see you guys later. And hopefully have a Merry Christmas. So, uh, later, y'all.